Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my video. Um, so what we're going to do, we are going to play Germany on the hardest possible mode and to be able to conquer the world in the fastest possible time. And uh, now let's just get started. So going to start a new game, start on January 36, we're going to use Germany and you can see we've chosen elite for the hardest possible mode. Now, when it comes to this mode, you really have to be as efficient as possible <clears throat> and use all aspects of the game, <clears throat> including the modern warfare techniques, to be able to um, achieve all of that. Because in hard, the AI uh, gets really difficult. So, that being said, let's just quickly go through the plan. Um, now, starting from the left, the national focus, what we're going to do, we're going to start with Rhineland straight away. Because what I am going to do after that, uh, I might need one more turn to be able to quickly go to to go to um, Angeles and go all the way down. Because if you can capture Austria and Czech Republic in the faster time, you will have more resources, more factories to put you in a better position before the start of the war. Uh, Decision-wise, uh, we're not going to cancel MIFO for now, um, at least for a few years, to be honest, because although it... Uh, penalizes me on the political power but it does give me uh, some extra benefits such as um, having more uh, factories available as well as faster uh, military factory built up uh, we don't really need war propaganda because we'll get plenty of uh, war support throughout the game uh, we don't need that we don't need that we don't need that uh, we won't need promises of peace either, to be honest, because after 1939 we'll be at war uh, till end of the game, really. And uh, we, mo we will need in the future improved working condition that will help uh, improve our stability, but also institute press censorship. This will also help us uh, get 100% of fascism and the higher... Uh, the higher the fascism is, the more stability we'll get. Uh, intelligence, uh, we, we're not going to spend any factories for now, at least till 1938, because I want to focus all my, fa uh, all my um, uh, civilian factories on building military factories throughout, because you really need to start building straight away and do not waste your uh, factories on anything else rather than uh, other than uh, military factories. So we're going to skip this for now. Research standard, so that would be uh, basic, machine res uh, basic machine research, also construction. A third one's going to be uh, mechanical engineering. And last one, we're going to be um, the weapons and equipment because that will give us extra breakthrough, which is going to help us with the Spanish and Japanese uh, war intervention. Uh, diplomacy, we don't need anything for now. Um, let's just wait for that for a minute. So like I said, we're going to spend all our civilian factories on building as many military factories as possible. That will be the only thing I will build, to be honest, um, till start of Soviet war with Soviet Union. Uh, apart from few uh, synthetic refineries because we will need that afterwards to build our aircraft but that can wait till literally close to 1940 so uh, we're going to build military factories here 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 and here and here now you might ask why am i not building it on these four and um, i'm gonna wait for this focus tree because having that enabled will give um hundred percent uh, infrastructure in these four uh, provinces that means faster uh, military factory built up so I would rather wait for that before I start building factory on them so I will just um, spend my factories on building military factories on every infrastructure with 80 percent plus production wise um so like I said, the focus now is to go through Angeles as quickly as possible. And in order for you to do that, you need to have at least 500,000 manpower in division fields. 
And to do that, we need to build as many um, equipments as possible on the ones that we, that we need to be able to recruit units in the fastest possible time. So, so what I'm going to do <clears throat> for now, I'm going to cancel tanks. We will build it later when the Spanish uh, Civil War happens. I'm going to cancel that. Again, we will build lots of different airplanes later on, but for now, I'm just going to focus on, <clears throat> on this. Uh, I will allocate one more factory to support equipment, and the rest, it will just be uh, infantry equipment. Later on, this will build up as well. Um, artillery equipment, we don't need this for now because later we'll get a better upgrade, so I'm going to remove that. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to build anything else, even train for now. Uh, I would rather spend all my uh, military factories on equipment. Uh, we won't need these, so I'm going to remove that. We don't need heavy tank either. Uh, we will build every single one of these later but for now because they're all useful in their own way well apart from naval bomber that can wait till much later in the game um, ships i'm gonna allocate 10 for repair uh, we won't need that we won't need that we'll remove all the outdated ones we'll remove that as well not need that don't need that right these four should be enough so um the ones that are currently being been built uh, i don't want to waste it because they're close to finish so i'll just get one of each and just so that you know we can we can use the already built time in our advantage so i would let them build up first that should be done very quickly and then once that's done then we just focus on uh building submarines uh throughout um i mean you could build other ships as well but in my opinion submarines are, are more efficient in terms of the attack all right so that's that as well okay now the other thing that we need to do uh so for now we don't have to focus on reinforcements because we're just gonna Spend all our equipment on building new units that can be up. Uh, the tanks will be elite because we're going to use them early on. And um, I just changed the icon. Um, infantry will be elite later, but like I said, I don't want to um, waste any equipment for now. So the plan that I have, we will have two, dif well, three different. Uh, armies so one would be infantry base and that would be for attacking head-on the second would be armored division which is to make breakthroughs to be able to encircle the enemy and the fourth one which is in my opinion very underrated are paratroopers so they don't actually have uh, much use other than being you know in terms of attack other than being dropped off in key areas because the very important thing that uh, we need to consider in any war i mean current ukraine against russian war shows it is all about logistics so if you can actually drop the paratroopers in key areas to be able to hamper the logistics of the frontline armies that will really degrade their armies it will be easier for you to uh, to hit them and make breakthroughs and encircle them so um, i will use paratroopers uh, when it comes to war with poland and onwards i will use them a lot actually uh, because they're really powerful in my opinion uh, in terms of uh, really hampering the supply lines uh, so these would be my three main units i'm not going to use any infantry uh, sorry uh, any uh, motorized division i don't i don't see that's any having any points to be honest uh, neither I'm going to use any mount mountaineers. So, uh, what I am going to use because we won't have enough resources to build lots and lots of tanks at early on. So we just want few to be able to make the breakthroughs, and then after that we can fill them up with uh, uh, a version of cavalry. So I will duplicate this, 
and the one we currently have uh, I will uh, make it elite later on so I'm going to change it so I can distinguish so I will have four of four of tanks and then eight of these uh, cavaliers uh, sorry cavaliers and uh, so they will make the breakthrough they will jump in quickly to fill the gaps so we can actually encircle the enemies so that being said i'm going to build eight of these these should be built really quickly because they don't require as much so eight is enough for now and the rest we're just going to focus quickly on building infantry i think that's about it when it comes to building um logistics we don't have to worry about now officers we don't have anything at the moment so i'm going to organize all my units so these will come here the rest will also come here because i'm going to organize organize them all in one go uh, i'm going to move all my uh, navy on one side and i'm going to do the same with the airplanes so that would be the setup uh, let's just quickly go these now come here and i'm gonna move them here now what i can do i can start organizing my uh, army so these are here it's getting built what i will have the tab i will always have on would be recruitment tab because as soon as it gets to 20 percent we're going to deploy them uh, because that will help us get to the 500,000 much quicker. Uh, what I can do, I can start exercising my naval just a little bit. So it will give me some naval experience. Yeah, we don't need any um, anything for now, so that I can all wait. Can be a new unit because we will have in about five months time we'll have the um, spanish civil war there you go now we can start deploying Right, so we've got enough to set up our uh, submarine units. I'm going to build it like that. And then after all these are done, I'm just going to focus on submarines. Now, what I can do, I can merge these. And we will we'll need probably around 200 or so. Uh, airplanes so I'm gonna uh, exercise them now because that will give us some extra attack bonuses uh, when it gets to the max level so the better they are when I'm going to use them in Spanish Civil War I will be able to uh, finish the war in a quick much faster way right uh, so you get the idea uh, I'm going to pause the game for now and then i will join you guys on the next video thank you